I'm Blair Malstravich, and today on Higher Learning, we get a glimpse of what it takes to be a dental assistant. Michelle, tell me what we're going to do with Dexter. All right, well, we're first, first going to start with putting our personal protection on. I've already put my safety glasses on. And we, were, we will also uh, put our masks as well as our gloves on. Did I put the wrong side on? Ah, uh, that's okay. <laughs> Typically it's this side, but that's okay. Wait, I'll fix it. <laughs> we'll fix it. Okay, and then that's upside down. Uh, we're going to show you how to use digital imaging. So the first thing that we need to do, Blair, is assemble our equipment. And then we would just say, Dexter, we're just going to get you to open. You retract uh, his cheek as though he was a person. And then you're going to angle. I'll just need you to open a little bit bigger. Yes, angle in the sensor and then position that. So what we're looking for is for the space between the teeth. And then I'm going to line this up. Blair, I'll get you to then position this in Dexter's mouth. So I just angle it. So you're going to angle it in, perfect. And, and then, then move it over a little bit? Or yes. There it is. Yeah. So perfect. then you bite down. Angle that so that it's in, this, it's in the center of the so ring. Soon. Okay, so great. So now we will move we out, out and hold this button and you'll hear a buzz. Uh. And now the image has been taken. That's it. Yeah, so this would be a molar bite wing view but it has the bone structure and it has what we're looking for as far as uh, interproximal space. And dental assistants aren't allowed to diagnose, we're not trained for diagnosis, uh, but we are trained to take the images and for the dentist to diagnose. So we've graduated from Dexter and now we're with real people. And joining me right now is June. June, tell me what we're gonna do in this step. We are going to be taking an impression of the lower arch and when that sets and comes out, then we're going to be having you disinfect it. Okay, all right, let's see how that works. A lot of people are very uncomfortable coming to the dental office. So one of the aspects of the job is making sure to put that patient at ease. And if you can help an individual to feel more comfortable, um, they are actually going to be feeling much better about uh, visits to the dental office. All right, so we've taken the impression. Now, what are we doing here, Jim? We're going to take and pour a gypsum product into the impression, okay. and then it's gonna harden. All right. And once it's hardened, we'll remove it, and you'll have an exact replica okay. of your patient's mouth. Cool. And then lay your spatula right here behind that last tooth. This side, I feel like this side needs more. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're just going along with it. This is not easy. Just move your left hand to a little bit just okay. to vibrate it. And then on this side, you can hold it around this way. I bet you're really good at cupcakes too. Um, amazing. But you shouldn't eat cupcakes because that's sugar is bad for your teeth. Okay, so we did that. That one will sit for an hour, but we're just going to use this one as an example. What are we doing now? You are going to remove the gypsum that's hard okay. from your impression. Okay. There are opportunities when the students complete their program in various dental offices, whether they are in the general practice dental office or the dental specialty offices. It's quite popular. We have had full classes ever since I've been here. We've filled the, um, the program to capacity. So we'll just place it over the teeth. Right. Right. Clearly mm -hmm. I am no expert, but I learned a lot at this glimpse of what it takes to be a dental assistant. For Hired Learning, I'm Blair Malstrach.